Hey everyone, today we'll try to create this Apple style logo animation from scratch. You'll learn some really useful tips and tricks along the way, so make sure you watch till the end. And before we start, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get started. Open After Effects. So I have this Apple TV PNG logo, which I'll use for this tutorial. You can easily get this online or you can use any other logo. Now make a new composition and call it logo holder. Set its size to a 16 by 9 ratio, then press OK. Now drag and drop the logo here. Apply the fill effect on it and set its color to white. Then reduce the logo size. Now, with the logo layer selected, click on the shape tool and make a mask around the logo like this. Duplicate the layer and invert the mask, and hide this duplicated layer for now. Next, make a new composition and call it Main Comp. Drag and drop the logo holder comp into it. Apply the fill effect on this layer, and set its color to a dark purple. Then, apply the CC glass effect. Go under surface. Set the softness to 1, height to negative 45, and displacement to 15. Now go under the light section. Set the light intensity to 300, and light height to negative 100. Then go to shading, Set ambient to 45 and specular to 80. Now right click on the layer, go to layer styles and select inner shadow. Change the blend mode to screen and change its color to a light purple. Then change the direction to minus 45 degrees and set the size to 40. We can adjust the distance later, for now, let it be. Now select the anchor point tool and move the anchor point over here. Make this layer 3D by clicking on this cube icon. Now press R and T for rotation and opacity. Make keyframes for Y rotation and opacity at 20 frames in the timeline. At the beginning, set the Y rotation to negative 180 degrees. And set the opacity to zero. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Adjust the graph of the Y rotation like this. And this is the animation we get. Now, duplicate this layer and offset it by 3 frames. Change its fill color to a dark navy blue like this. Also change the inner shadow color to light blue. Do the same thing again. Duplicate the layer, offset it by 3 frames, and change its fill color to dark green. and inner shadow to light green for the edge glow. Now repeat this process two more times. For the next one, use dark orange for fill, and light orange for the inner shadow. And for the last one, set the fill color to dark red and inner shadow to light red. Now select all these layers, duplicate them, 
and offset them by three frames again. Change the blending mode of all these layers to screen. This will give us a nice soft glowing edge look for the logo. Now from the project panel, drag and drop the holder comp again. Make a keyframe on its opacity and then set its starting value to zero. Now make a new null layer and parent all layers to this null. Make a keyframe on its scale and at the beginning set the scale to 200. Easy ease the keyframes and adjust the graph like this. Now go inside the logo holder comp, unhide the logo part, make a keyframe on its opacity, drag this keyframe over here, and set its value to zero here. And we'll get an animation like this. Let's reduce the scale a little bit. To add a small gradient on the logo, apply four color gradient on this layer and adjust the gradient points like this. Now duplicate this layer and remove the effect from it. Select the rectangle tool and make a mask around the logo like this. Increase the feather like this and adjust the mask expansion accordingly. And this is the final animation. You can make it even better by adding your own extra touches to it. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel. Also, you can get my premium project file and many others by becoming a member on my Kofi page link is in the description. See you in the next tutorial.